Sanda LPF. Riga Latvia goes for number. Меня зовут Рихард Бигис. Наша команда называется Санда ЛПФ. Мы из Риги, из Латвии. Мне кажется, хороший способ себя проверить в команде, чтобы поменьше травм было. Ну и, в принципе, все. Удачи не пожелаем. Sweden. Wiseman, Gothenburg. Sweden goes for number... Hi. My name is Alejandro. I'm coming from Sweden, Luxembourg. Our name of our team is Weissman. Well, I think it's fun. It's a really good and serious thing. It can become a great thing, you know. Good luck, have fun. Good evening, dear ladies and gentlemen. We welcome you on the third game of second team fighting championship event. We are using unified MMA rules. The condition for the victory is last man standing. And we welcome our judge, Sergei Domnin. And now, let's meet first team for the third fight, Sanda LPF from Riga, Latvia. And now, let's meet second team for the third fight. It's Wiseman, Gothenburg, Sweden. Touch the gloves, shake hands. Keep the rules and protect yourself. Good luck. Judges. TFC event number two, fight number three, Sanda LPF of Riga, Latvia versus the wise men of Sweden. Extreme hobby, durability, and rivalry. And here we go, fight number three. Oh, a flying kick right off the bat. See some heavy strikes being thrown. 
Wise Men in Red, Sandai LPF in Blue. My name is Jim Cooley, doing the running commentary for TFC event number two. And once again, we see Sandai LPF using their strength and size to outmuscle their opponents. Here we have a full mount. Nice takedown there. And we have all five of these fights on the ground at this moment. Here you see a full mount dropping heavy leather. He's just trying to defend north-south position here. You see the two LPF fighters stand up and instantly begin double teaming the smaller member of the wise men team from Sweden. And again, all five fights on the ground. And the Sandai LPF fighter came to run over and help his teammate and instead, looked like Alejandro of Sweden was able to help his teammate. Here we have a half guard. Here we have basically a full mount, but he's using one leg to posture and throw strikes and that's gonna eliminate the Swedish fighter. There's a big head kick from Sandai LPF fighter followed by some strikes and that's gonna end in a double team and a big knee to the head as he's being held by the bigger teammate. Three consecutive knees. Rear naked choke, gonna look like a tap out there. It's gonna be two Swedish fighters already eliminated from this fight. Another double team, the strikes. Triple team, here comes a big kick. Ooh, it's a big knee. Three on one. And it looks like it's gonna be a quick win for Sandai LPF here. Alejandro's still alive, trying to help his teammate from this two-on-one situation. We got side control here, right hand, and it looks like they're gonna eliminate the Swedish fighter. And that's gonna leave, and that's gonna end it. Sanda LPF with a huge win. Fight number three, TFC event number two. And the winner for the third fight is Sanda LPF from Riga, Latvia. There you have it from Svetlana, official voice of the TFC. Sanda LPF of Riga, Latvia wins. Two pancration fighters, two wrestlers, and an MMA fighter on that team. Quick win for Sanda LPF. Take a look at the Persian, 23 years old Muay Thai fighter from Sweden versus Riha of Latvia, Pankration fighter. First fight we're gonna look at here from, a, from fight number three. Big left hand right off the bat. They're both throwing strikes. He's got a body lock on him. Looking for a takedown here. With that body lock and the underhooks. 
Good takedown defense here, but he's able to get him down. The ropes do get in the way a slight bit. Instantly pulling guard is the LPF fighter, Riha. Pulls guard, and he's also got control of both arms of the Persian. He's looking to jockey for position here, get his arms free, and he does. Now he's going to rain down some blows. He's looking to posture. He gets out of the guard of Riha, and then he gets double teamed. Riha throws a nice left there. Another body lock here. That was a nice knee that landed to the stomach of the Persian. And again, he's looking for that same takedown. And what Riha should be doing is pushing that head down, but you know what? He manages to get on top, full mount position, but instantly he's bucked off as the Persian comes out the back door. Big reach advantage here for Riha, and he's using it. But the Persian managing to get inside again, and I think he's gonna look for that takedown. There's another flying knee. This one landed to the face area, the head area of the Persian. And then you got a fall by big head kick. Some great boxing there from Riha. And then his teammate comes in and we got a two on one situation. We're gonna see three successive knees, followed by a rear naked choke that will cause the Persian to tap. And that is how this one ends for the Persian with Riha taking the victory with a little help from his teammate. Move on to MJ, who is a street fighter, 28 years old, taking on Slavyanin, the wrestler from Sandaw LPF. Let's see what the street fighter does here. He comes out, and you see Slavyanin instantly imposing his will strength wise. But you see MJ doing decent here on this takedown defense. Two big, strong fighters here. But he does manage to get the takedown, does Slavyanin. He's looking to move up, and you're gonna see MJ's gonna pull guard here. He's gonna look to trap that arm, possibly either look for a submission or at least keep Slavyanin from posturing and raining blows. He is throwing some body shots here. And again, an open guard. A lot of fighters will employ the open guard if they wanna look for submissions. You see two other fighters getting involved here. MJ still on the bottom, now he's getting double teamed. Slavyanin's in his guard, but you can see the teammate of Slavyanin dropping blows, and that's gonna eliminate MJ from fight number three, TFC event number two. Move on to Pyro, the Swedish Thai boxer taking on Kavalda, Pancration fighter out of Latvia. Sanda LPF. Instantly he's got that leg. He went for the kick. Pyro went for the kick. It was caught. And you can see the LPF fighter. Big takedown. Almost a souffle type takedown there. He's keeping a hold of that side headlock is Pyro. He's very, very squirrely on the ground, but now he's just getting struck. Right leg kicks to the head, soccer type kicks. North-south position here. Moves to a side control, side mount. Pyro's outmatched strength-wise here, but you know what? He's throwing some decent strikes, watches his back, and again, he's just picked up and thrown by the much bigger LPF fighter, Sandai LPF. And he passes easily. You don't see Pyro pulling guard as he should be. Back to that north-south position. And now he's soccer kicks to the back with the teammate. Now he's got his back. Does he look to get his hooks in or does he just continue to strike? He does not look to get his hooks in. 
And again, we have the problem of going for a rear naked choke without getting your hooks in. Needs to establish both his left and right hook, his legs inside. He's got sort of a front face lock here, possible guillotine attempt. And that's what he's gonna go for here, but instantly escaped by the Sandai LPF fighter. Now we got a double team and a triple team. Big knee coming. And the Swedish fighter in trouble here. Three on one. Three on one. And there's the tap as he is eliminated. It was those big knees that did it. Show of sportsmanship there, the Swedish fighter. on to Sten, the big boxer out of Sweden, taking on Medved, the Latvian wrestler of Sandai LPF. Wise men have eliminated no one yet in this fight, and there you see the, the overpowering wrestler. Looking for a choke there. Went for a choke. A strong wrestling background from a big, strong man. He instantly mounts. And even with that wrestling background, he's, he's raining a lot of blows down. He's not defending himself at all. And the Thai boxer looks out of his element on the ground as he should. He is a stand-up fighter. Thai boxer out of Sweden. And the judge is taking a close look at this one and he's probably gonna have to step in. Hammer fist, left hand. Hammer fist, left hand. He's just turtling at this point. The judge is gonna have to step in and stop this one as the Thai boxer is completely out of his element. The much bigger man Medved, the big wrestler out of Latvia finishes him off. to Alejandro from Sweden, also a Thai boxer, taking on Janka. He's an MMA fighter from Latvia. Alejandro appeared to be the team captain, and he threw that double flying kick right off the bat, almost like a pro wrestling move, and he paid dearly for it, but Alejandro hung in in this fight. Janka is just much bigger than Alejandro. Alejandro Wiry throwing some great blows. Left hand lands there, right hand to the back of the head. Janka looking to establish a clinch and force Alejandro to the ground, which is exactly what he does. Alejandro keeps the side headlock. Janka's gonna look to come out the back door. And that's just raw power from Janka right there. Alejandro, the smaller man. Could work for a Kimura here, perhaps a key lock. It almost looks like he's looking to his corner as if to say, what do I do from here? He does have side control and he lets him up. And now he's gonna run over to help his, his teammate. But Alejandro lands a nice kick. Janka back on top with a little help from his teammate there. Alejandro half attempt at a guillotine, but he's only got one arm in, nothing's gonna come of that. He's got half guard here, but he's not doing much with it. Janka again leaves Alejandro. Moving over to another fight. Alejandro tries to intervene. Janka grabs him momentarily. Alejandro now looking for an armbar. And Janka is able to transition into side control and his teammate comes over and throws a big right on Alejandro that ends the night for Alejandro, team captain of the wise men out of Sweden. Dream hobby, durability, and rivalry.